Hey everybody, Corey here for Star Transmissions and MakingStarWars.net, and today we'll be taking a look at the Star Wars Rebels uh, Imperial Speeder Bike with ATDP Pilot. Um, this was kind of an unexpected set. I didn't, th I you know, we found out about this about a week or two before Force Friday, so this was kind of a nice surprise. Um, this is an interesting vehicle. Uh, retails for twenty dollars. Not too bad of a price. And it's in the Rogue One packaging that we've gotten throughout the uh, whole run of Rebels figures this year. Except for the Force Awakens packaging. Um, we have a cool picture of him racing through Lothal. The explosion on the background. And then on the side you have a cool picture of him. And then on the back just some detail about the character and you know the other figures in this assortment you got Jin, you got Ezra with the speeder bike and AT no uh the Imperial Salt Walker with First Order Stormtrooper or First Order Salt Walker so that is pretty cool so first off I want to show you guys this figure this figure is not the one that comes in the set this is the Star Wars Rebels 2014 ATDP pilot figure um, and it's actually different than this one, which we'll show you in a second, but I thought I'd get that out there real quick. So here we go. Let's take this guy off the speeder real quick to give you a look at the speeder itself. Um, this is, you know, what you would expect in the three and three quarter inch line. It's a pretty small vehicle. I remember when these, these used to retail for about $12.99 to $14.99. Now they're 20 bucks. Um, Hasbro, now with the Ezra speeder bike, it was purely just like this. This hole was filled and everything. But Hasbro added this new gimmick that, you know, we can take it off, which is good. Um, but it's another firing missile thing. So, you know, not for me, but I can see kids having fun with this. But I prefer to take this piece off. Plugs in right there. And yeah, it is a really nicely detailed vehicle. I mean, you got the seat there, you got the uh, handlebars, they swivel and whatnot. Uh, this is a repaint of Ezra's speeder bike, um, which was a really good speeder bike, so I'm pretty impressed with it. But, you know, see the level of detail on it. it looks really nice, it'll look cool on the shelf. Probably look cooler with a few of them, I would think. But, definitely a nice vehicle. So onto the figure, um, one thing that when Hasbro released this ATDP pilot, the one thing we all noticed off the bat was they painted on the wrong colors. In the show, he has more of a gray uniform like this one has, but the first figure initially had like a kind of uh, dark blue um, or turquoise blue rather um, uniform as you can see there. So, this one's immensely more accurate, and uh, the detail on him is actually pretty stunning. You got the uh, Imperial logo right there on both shoulder pads on the back. Yeah, These, this is just like a complete repaint, it looks like. So, and then of course, on the top of his helmet, he's got more Imperial logos. Looks awesome. And of course his boots, and again, everything is completely repainted for the better, I think. Even, it's, it's interesting because the uh, the helmet piece, Imperial logo, is more towards the front of the helmet. This one's more in the, towards the middle. So that's interesting. So, I mean, you could have an assortment of two different ATDP pilots, I guess that could be cool, you know, whatnot. Um, he does come with his blaster. Which you can put on his hand like so of course he's five points for articulation so you're not going to get too much out of him but you can put him on the bike there are pegs right there for his feet so you can plug those in and you know he'll be get the handlebars and it'll look really cool so you know it retails for 20 bucks I don't think that's a horrible price um, Probably around the $18, maybe $17 range would have been better, but, you know, it is what it is. That's what they retail for, so 
I don't think that's too bad considering this is a pretty nice set. Um, like I said, we have to support the Star Wars Rebels line. So I definitely dig it. Either you can get it at retail or you can wait till it goes on clearance, I'm sure, sometime next year. Um, but yeah, this was, like I said, an unexpected set to buy. Hoping we get Rogue One sets like these. We don't have any Rogue One uh, mini rigs, unfortunately. I'm not too sure why Hasbro didn't release any of those, but it is what it is. So thank you guys for watching this review of the Star Wars Rebels ATDP pilot with a speeder bike. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more Rogue One and Rebels reviews. May the Force be with you guys.